Some of the most memorable movie characters have been imaginary. Doctor, I've been telling you Harvey is a rabbit. A big white rabbit, six feet high, or is it six feet three and a half? I met a new friend. Real or imaginary? Imaginary. And now, Aunt Ethel, I'd like you to meet Harvey. The camera pans and there's nothing there. But film is an ideal medium for a story about an imaginary friend because the framing can point our attention right to where they ought to be. They're there, but not there. So how do you show something that can't be seen? The justification for the presence of the unreal can be the supernatural or a mental illness. In an allegorical film, people embody abstract ideas like God and Mother Earth. But a movie like Fight Club has a much more complex logic. Why is it that we can see Tyler Durden, but the security camera cannot? The composition is careful to include Tyler even when there's nothing there, but Tyler is there. He's about as camera shy as this fellow. The camera never gets in the way of Harvey. It never dollies over him or through his space. So it seems that there are rules to showing an imaginary friend on screen. Why then is the security camera incapable of seeing Tyler Durden while the audience can? The answer can be found right here. I took a course in art last winter. I learned the difference between a fine oil painting and a mechanical thing, like a photograph. The photograph shows only the reality. The painting shows not only the reality, but the dream behind it. A six foot tall bunny rabbit. <laughs> six feet? Six feet, three and a half inches. Now let's stick to the facts. Fight Club has the dream quality of a painting. David Fincher's camera is both painterly and mechanical. It records the dream and the reality, which is why he chose to show Tyler both ways. Or maybe it just looks cool that way. You can preserve some of the mystery of artistic expression if you don't try to analyze it, but that to me is like satisfying thirst by staring at a glass of water instead of taking a sip. The expression, I'll believe it when I see it, implies that the truth is something we can see with our own two eyes. Donnie Darko is a far cry from Harvey, but cinema is at a place where they can show us the imaginary friend, but we as viewers know it is real and an illusion all at once.